Welcome to IDS Technology. So this is Yuri. So today is next some more question about the chapter handling and the collection. So this is the part eight. So let's start. Question. Yeah, only focus. We can only focus on that uh, question, not the answer. Answer just for the lovely question that I'm typing. Okay, I am giving that. So your reference was first. You can prepare your answers. What you are getting from that transcription, try to prepare it in yourself. So, suppose interviewer, what is the difference between the throw and throws in Java? This is my explanation. Okay, this is my understanding which I prepared. You can prepare your own. Okay. Right. Try to understand the question. Okay, that's it. Here is my purpose is giving you question. At least 500 question I am planning for you in further course Java. So this is I think 8 video, 180 question, uh, 160 question or four of rocks. We are going to complete, right? So you can prepare that, you can watch the video and post that and try to write the answers. Okay. So, so now, so let's start. Okay. okay. So Java throw keyword, throw an exception from a method or uh, static block. Java provides throw keywords to maintain the probable execution throw by a method it's a different ratio. Okay. Got it not point through is that keyword to use the one method static. But throw keyword is maintain a probable execution through by a method and then it's a different ratio. We use throw to explicitly throw an exception. And we use throws to declare an exception in the method definition. Okay. We cannot so forget check exception with throw only, but check exception can be forget with throws keyword. A throw call is followed by an instance class or exception followed. Other throw call a throw occurs with this method. Throws is a just is just used with method signature. We can throw only one exception at a time, but we can mention as many exception in throw clause. So this is the difference. So what is the concept of exception propagation? In propagation means Send one to another, another to another right by this is the propagation. I am explaining. In the exception propagation, uncut exceptions are propagated in the call stack, call stack until stack become become in case. This propagation is called exception propagation. Let's say, example, let's say an exception propagation from the method to another method. A method calls B, which calls C, which calls D. And if D throws an exception, then exception will be propagated from the D to C, C to B, B to A, unless one of the method catch the exception. When we override a method in child class, can we throw an additional exception that is not throw by the Parent class method. Read the question properly first. When we override a method in child class, when we write a override method in the child class, can we throw an additional exception that is not thrown by the parent class? The parent class nine so Yes. Java allow us to throw additional exception in a child class, but the additional exception should be an unchecked exception. Run touch. So now the exception question is completed. Now collection is done. So many, many questions, many, many answer is there. 
मल्टीपल एलिमेंट ऑफ सिंगल These multiple element can be accessed through a collection of objects. In Java, collections framework is a library that provides a common architecture of creating, updating, and accessing different type of collections. In collections framework, there are common methods that are frequently used by developers for you know, working on collection. Of. What are the main benefit of collections framework in Java? The main benefits of the collection in framework Java is reusability. Reusability means Java collection framework provides the common classes and utility method that can be used with different type of collection. This promotes the reusability of the code. Reusability of the code. A developer does not have to reinvent the V by writing the sum method again. Quality, that's the reusability result. Again, the quality. Using Java collection framework improves the program quality since the code is already tested and used by thousands of developers. Speed. Most of the programmers report that their development speed increases. They can focus on code logic and use the generic collection provided by Java. Internet. Since most of the Java collection frameworks code is open source and API documentation is widely available, it is easy to maintain the code. Written with the help of Java collections framework, once developer can easily pick the code provided by developer. So this is the four reasons: first is the reusability, quality, speed, measurement. Our next question: What is the root interface of collection hierarchy in Java? The root interface of collection hierarchy in Java is collection interface. But the collection interface extends the iterable iter iter interface due to this. Some people consider iterable iter interface as the root interface. Iterable iter iter interface is the present in Java.lang package, but the collection interface is present in Java.util package. Oracle Java API doc mentions that collection interface is a member of Java collection table. Whereas Iterable, iterable interface is not started as a part of Java collection. Framework in Java doc. Due to this collection interface, is the root of collection framework. Next question is what are the main difference between collection and collections? The main difference between collection and collection are following. Collection is an interface in Java, but the collection is a class in Java. Collection is a base interface. Collection is the utility class. Generally. Collection defines the method that are used for data structure that contain the object. Collection defines the method that are used for operations like Find access find and so What are the threads of collection in Java collection term? Threads of collect classes in Java. Threads of classes in Java. Backer, hash table, blocking queue, concurrent map, concurrent navigable map. How will you, you Efficiently remove element while iterating a collection. The right way to remove element from a collection while iterating by using iterator dot list iterator dot remove method. 
like yes iterator integer it minus dot iterator while has learned it dot remove some developer as follow the code remove the element which is iterate incorrect iterator 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 integer is marked by iterator interface right on the list of code by doing so we get concurrent modification exception and iterator is the first create to traverse the list but at some time the list is changed by remove method in java it is not allowed for the thread to modify a collection by another thread is iterating it literal provides since suppose capability of removing an object during traversal. How we will convert a list into an array of an array of integer like in we can use array utils class is Apache common line library. Simple code is int int array equals to array utils to primitive my list to array new integers if we use list dot to array it will convert list to integers so this is the question here you can only see how it is going to work list into array How you will convert array to primitive integer like into two list into two a list collection. Array dot as list array into list to object entire. We have primitive like ten to the thirty. Create one list like new array list of entire iterating in a list dot add. How we will run filter on collection? We can use collection utils of Apache for this purpose. They will have to create and predicate that will define the condition for our filter. Then we can apply this predicate in filter matchups. Simple code is in this example. We filter any name that are less than five character characters long. Can use a string. Mm -hmm. No predicate million even weird object on put return or put dot length less than five. How will you convert list to a set? There are two ways to convert list to a set in Java. First option is has set set my set equals to new has set to pass the list. In this case, we put a list into a has set internally. Has code my set will use to identify duplicate element. Option two use tree set. In this case, we use our own comparator to find the duplicate object. Set integer my set equals to neutral set every comparator. How will you remove duplicate element from an array list? We have multiple options. Use set. I will set equal. Remove that. 
if ordering of element is not important, then we just put the element of array list in hash cell and then add them back to the array list. Like this, we have an array list as such, put that as such, and add my dot list clear and my list dot add all my side. First, you can clear the list again. You can add the use linked hash set as well. How can you maintain a collection with element in sorted order? You can read this. In Java, there are many ways to maintain a collection with element in sorted, sorted order. Uh, some collection like tree set we store element in the natural ordering. In case of natural ordering, we have to implement comparable interface for all comparing the elements. We can also maintain custom ordering by providing a custom comparator to a collection. Another option is to use utility method collection dot sort to sort a list. This sorting gives n log n order of order. But, but if we have to use this method multiple times, then we will costly, we will costly or performing. Another option is to use priority queue that provides an order queue. The main difference between priority queue and collection dot sort is the priority queue maintainer. Q in order all of time, but we can only retrieve head element from Q. We cannot access the element of the priority queue in random order. We can use tree set to maintain the sort set sorted order of element in collection if there is no duplicate element. What are the difference between two data structures, vector and array list? Array list is the newer class than vector. Vector is the considered as the legacy class in Java. There are the difference are synchronization. Vector is synchronized, but array list is not synchronized. So array list has the faster operation that vector than vector. Data growth. Internally, both an array list and vector use an array to store data. When an array list is almost full in screens, its size by 50% of our array size, whereas vector increases by doubling the underlying array size. What are the difference between selections and collections in Java? Type feature method. Collection is the interface in Java feature. Collection interface provides a basic feature of data structure list type Q interface. Collections is the utility class to sort and synchronize collection element. It has six algorithms to operations on collections method type. Most of the methods in collection are at instance level. Collections has mainly static methods that can work on an instance. Level. In which scenario link list is better than array list as well? Array list is the more popular than linked list in Java. Due to do it easy to use and random access to element feature. But linked list is better in the scenario when we do not need to random access. Element of the there are a lot of insertion solution. What are the difference between list and sector? Main difference we have order. List collection is an order sequence of element. Set is just a distinct collection of element that is unordered, positional access. When we use list, we can specific we can specify where exactly we want to insert element in set. There is a no order. So we can insert element anywhere without varying about order. Duplicate. In list, we can store duplicates. Set can be hold only unique element. What are the difference between hash set and preset collection? 
ordering null value ordering in hash set elements are stored in random order in tree set elements are stored according to natural order ordering null value we can store only value object in hash set a tree set does not allow to add a null value performance hash set performance basic operation like add remove contain size etc is the constant size time tree set performance this operation at order log n time is field a hash set is a better than a tree set in a performance for most of operation like add remove constant size etc internal structures hash set is a java internal back uh, hash set is the navigable map back a tree set internally feature a tree set has a more feature compared to a hash set it has most like whole first whole last first last ceiling lower element control hash set use equals method for the comparison tree set as the compared to so now this is completed it video is completed so thank you thank you for watching me and more video like that you can subscribe this channel and share with your friends thank you you need that